In this video, I'm going to go over a basic setup for PDMS and some of the basic commands and how to move around a little bit. As you get more familiar with PDMS, you're probably going to want to set up your screen the way you want it and so on. I'm going to go over how I like it and why I like it, but um, as you get more familiar with it, you'll be getting a feel for how you want to set it up. But this is basically what PDMS looks like when it first opens up. Across the top, we have different tabs for different things. Uh, we are in the Pipework application, which is one of the modules. When you do pipe, you want to be in the Pipework application. You always want to make sure that this button here is set to the, the module that you're in. So it's in Pipework, so we're going to put this in Piping. This on our left side is called the Design Explorer. It's basically the hierarchy of everything that's in this model. You're, you see a lot of things here on the left that are not going to be in your PDMS model when you open it, so just ignore them. Um, Okay, the black area is called the graphic screen. This is where you're going to see your model as soon as we bring something in. And um, I personally like to open up one other window. It's called the command window. Under display, you can go to the very bottom. It's called the command window. That usually comes up in the bottom. I personally like to drag it by clicking on the yellow area drag it over to the right. When you see this uh, arrow, unclick it. It puts it on the right side. And then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because most of the commands that we type in aren't that long. Okay, so again, this is our graphic screen. And to better clarify uh, some of the commands, we're going to go ahead and bring something in. Now again, on the left side, this is your hierarchy of the model. You always want to be very sure of where you're sitting at in your hierarchy because you don't want to delete something that you don't mean to delete or move something you don't mean to move when you only meant to move a piece of it and so on and you'll understand more later. Okay, so I want to bring in Site Unit 01. There's a few different ways. The easiest way is to highlight it, just like we've got to highlight it. Click on it, and we're going to drag it into our graphic screen. And when it first pops in, we are looking in Plan View. We're looking down at it in Plan View, and North is up uh, top, well, facing top right now. Um, this icon here on the, almost at the bottom, is called the World Axis icon. You're probably going to enjoy that icon quite a bit. If you click it, you can see it brings in an axis for us into the graphic screen. As you can see, north shows us which way north is pointing, and east is to the right. And, uh, we can see up, but we can't really see the arrow because we're looking down. Again, this is in plan view, we're looking down. Okay, so again, how we added that was we drug it in. Now there's a few different ways to add things in or remove them from the graphic screen. These two little icons up here, add CE, your current element is always what you have highlighted. CE stands for current element. Okay, so this is add CE to the draw list, remove CE to the draw list. That's basically add it to your graphic screen or remove it from the graphic screen. I'm going to click on this one and it all disappears. Now we're not deleting it, okay? You're only removing it from your graphic screen. We can bring it in uh, with this icon. Since we're at a site, it's going to make it's making sure that we want to add the whole site. We're going to say yes. Okay, so again, that's how you add and remove. You can also, on in your Design Explorer window, right-click on here, highlight 3D view, and you get quite a few options. Add CE, remove CE, and so on. It's the same thing. 
so whatever you prefer doing. Okay, so let's go over some of these icons here so we can move around a little bit, look at some different views. We can, uh, this button here is Limit CE. That's pretty much like Zoom Extents in AutoCAD. Uh, I'm zooming in using my middle button by rolling in, rolling out, you can zoom in or out. Okay, if we zoom in and then we hit this button again, it puts us back out. Like I said, zoom extends in AutoCAD. Okay, this button is pretty handy. Let's say we want to uh, zoom in on this elbow. Okay, it pulls this elbow to the middle of our screen. Now it makes it the center of the screen. Zooming in and out. Again, using the middle dial. Okay, this button is called is the rotate icon. It sets your middle mouse to rotate. This is how I prefer to use AutoCAD. What I'm doing is just rotating left to right. I'm pushing down on the button and I'm moving my mouse left to right. Push down the button and move forward and back and look how it's rotating in the different direction. Okay, so that's pretty handy and my favorite choice to use. You guys might like pan, which now sets the middle button to pan. So if we push down and we move the mouse left to right, we're now panning left to right or panning up to down, up and down. Um, I personally don't think that that's all that great because by clicking on a certain part of your model you can move that to the center of your graphics screen and then you can zoom in and so on. So that's basically like panning for me. So that's why I prefer to use the rotate and just use my center button as my way of panning. Okay, uh, notice as we rotate around our model the axis down here also rotates so you can always tell kind of what direction you're facing or if you want to move something you're, you can use this axis to say okay I want to move north or south and so on. Okay, these buttons these three are for clipping, playing options. We'll go over those later. That's your uh, world access. Okay, so now uh, we know how to zoom in and out. We know how to pan. Let's say I want to look at this control station. I'm going to highlight one of the valves, hit the fourth button, and then I can just zoom right in on it. And, as you can see, I can make that the center of my rotation, which is going to be quite handy. So, that's basically all for moving around a little bit, getting you familiar with uh, PDMS. Um, oh, one other thing. Let's say Again, how I said earlier, you always want to make sure where you're at in your hierarchy. If you're at a whole pipe, if you're at a valve, and so on. Let's say we want to remove this pipe from our display. Again, we can right click, remove just that pipe, or right click and go to 3D view, add it back in. We can also use these icons, okay, for just that one pipe. Let's say we want to remove all the structural, okay, we highlight it over here on the right and remove it or add it and so on. You want to get rid of all the, only the pipe. Okay, so again, you always want to make sure where you are in your hierarchy. Okay, so that's it for uh, this video.